Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a technique to create this really cool carved text effect uh, into your slide. It looks like you're sitting on a wooden tabletop and the text is carved into the table. Now I'm showing you the inspiration for this. Now a friend of mine sent a video to Robert Kosara's um, video called The Science of Pie Charts, which I'll link to in the comments below. You should definitely watch it. It's a pretty cool uh, uh, overview of all the research that he's done on how people read pie charts, but that's not what this video is about. This is going to be about showing you how to create this effect that he did in the video with this wooden tabletop background and that carved text effect. So the first thing you want to do is get that carved picture. There's a bunch of pictures that you can get. I recommend going to pexels.com and let's see if I can flip, if I can flip over to pexels here. I'm going to get out of this. There's Pexels, Pexels.com. These are free, uh, many of many of them are free, royalty-free uh, photos and videos and backgrounds and things like this. So I just uh, searched in here wood table, and it looks like there's a good one. This could be a good one. I think this is the one that that we'll use. It looks most closest to the one um, that Robert used in his video. So I'm going to go ahead and download that, and then I've already created this. So I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like here. This carved title effect, uh, and this is just a text box here in the middle of my slide, and the background of the side has an image on it. So let's go ahead and start this from scratch. I'm going to go ahead up to insert a new slide and I will go and insert a title slide here. I'm going to get rid of this text box because I don't need it and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to type in this text box. Uh, here is my new carved title. So we're just going to do that. I'm going to make sure that we're in the position, the center of the slide here. Maybe I'll increase my font just a little bit and go this way, put it out to the side. Let's drag that. I'm going to go ahead and use the arrange tools to do center and middle. Awesome. And I could even make this all caps um, if I wanted to. So I'm just going to make this all uppercase. And then again, Let's see here, put it in the middle of the slide. Looks like it needs to just be dragged down. Awesome. So we're going to do that. And now comes time to insert the photo. So I'm going to go up to the insert tab. I'm going to insert the picture that I downloaded. Just wherever you downloaded that photo. It's going to come right onto your slide and it fills the area of the slide that the photo is sized to. But I want this to be um, a full slide background. So I could drag the corners and make it even bigger, but I have downloaded this wonderful free PowerPoint added called Bright Slide. And I go up to the Bright Side tab, and they have this match size to background. If I double click this, any photo that's highlighted will match, uh, will fill the entire uh, background of the slide, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to click that. It does this, so it's kind of like a crop. And then I'm going to go up to picture format and click crop so that it can uncrop that. So the entire slide now is full with my background. I'm going to right click and send this to the back. And there's my text here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to color the text a little bit differently so that it matches the background of the table just a little bit. So I'm going to go up here to, to the text uh, color options and then I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and then I'm going to select a pretty dark color from the table. Let's see if I can get this dark color right here. That looks pretty good. All right, and you can see that changed. And then I'm actually going to go up here to the Shape Format tab. Here's all of my text styles. I'm going to go ahead and give it an outline. And again, I'm going to eyedropper it. And I'm going to try to find another dark section. Let's go to back down here. Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll go over here. All right, that could work give it an outline there, text outline, and then I'm going to give it a weight. I'll probably make it be a, a, a small weight there. And then what I want to do is I'm going to use the text shadow options up here. So the word styles, uh, text effects, shadow, and then down here there's outer shadows, inner shadows. That's the one that I want. And I'm going to go ahead and do this first one here. It looks like uh, it gives a pretty nice sort of indented effect, like it's being carved into the table. So I think that actually looks pretty good. And let's see if I were to bold this text how it looks. That's pretty good too. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this text a little bit of transparency so that it looks even uh, more like it's really part of the actual photo or the background. And let's see if I can go over here. It's the format shape dialog box. So what I would do is highlight the text box, right click, 
format the shape, and then go over here to the text options. And this transparency here, the slider, I'm going to probably give it to about 20%. Let's actually just go down to 20%. Really nice. And you can see that the text looks like it has been carved into the tabletop. And you can just update the text as you wish here. You can, you can delete. Um, nothing is set in stone or nothing really is carved into the table. But you can just do this text right here. Great carved title effect. That is pretty cool. I'm going to align this to the top. And let's make this go back into the middle. There we go. So there's your option. And thanks to Robert Kosara for the inspiration. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.